Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Feeling real country today. This is Realistic Bookkeeping and today's video is all about how do you assess if your business even needs a bookkeeper, right? So if you're a small business owner, you might think to yourself, okay, I don't like doing my books, but I can wing it, I can do it myself, or can I? So do you need a bookkeeper? Can you afford a bookkeeper? What is a bookkeeper gonna do for you? I'm gonna answer all those questions today. So I have prepared a list of questions and I'm just gonna run through them really quick. I'm also gonna make a document and post it down below so that you have access to it. You can print it out, maybe answer the questions yourself or just start to brainstorm what does it mean to look at your finances to be have something consistent, sustainable for your business that's gonna produce the records and uh, tax prep that you need. And I'm just gonna run through those questions now in the video so that you can ask yourself, do you need a bookkeeper? Okay, so first question, do you know what your business made last month? If the answer to that is yes, you could tell me off the top of your head, or you know a document that you could access within the next minute that you could tell me what you made last month, then you're probably pretty good so far. Let's go to the second question. What did you spend last month in your business? Again, if you could tell me quickly a roundabout number that's accurate, or if you have a document that you could access again in under a minute, then you're probably okay so far. If not, mm, you might start thinking, do I need a bookkeeper? Hmm. What was your annual profit or projected profit for the first year of your business? Do you know? Fourth question, what will be your estimated tax amount? Do you have that saved? Are you aware of the tax breaks that you and your business qualify for? And do you have those amounts prepared when it comes to tax time? Question six, should you be doing quarterly tax estimates? These are just a basic range of questions that if you don't know the answers to, or if you don't have that information very quickly at your fingertips, you might want a bookkeeper or you might want a bookkeeper to help you set up a system so that you can access those numbers any time you want. I'm gonna run through another list of questions that are just more for you to brainstorm about what your current system is like and what a bookkeeper might be able to help you with. So the first thing that you wanna think about is, do you already have a system set up for your record keeping that you are consistent with? So I don't mean a nice system that you said you were gonna do in the first month of opening your business or maybe in the third month of opening your business after you had decided, whoa, I don't have a way to put all this documentation down easily, let me set up a system that you're still using. Are you still using that system that you set up? Because if you're not, then at some point you're gonna have to sit down and take months of data, months of information, months of receipts, and put them into that system. Or is your system really not as good as you thought it was and not as efficient for you as you wanted it to be in the beginning? The next thing I really want you to think about is, is this your area of expertise? So maybe you have a business where you make the most beautiful handcrafted pieces of jewelry. They're your unique, they're individual, they're creative. You have a talent I don't have, my friend. God gave you something I don't possess. I have not one creative bone in my body. However, you are great at that, but someone else might be great at the finances. If that's not your area of expertise, don't push yourself into being perfect at all the things. Reach out for help where your weaknesses are. The other part of that is maybe you know how to do your record keeping okay, but do you want to do your record keeping? Do you want or like to do your bookkeeping? Because if you don't, if it's the thing that you detest, even if you're capable of doing it, it's going to bring you a level of stress and anxiety that pulls away from where your quality, strength, your where your passion should go and where your energy should be focused. And so I think sometimes we, uh, my husband does this all the time. Rachel, why would you buy that bookshelf when I'm capable of making it? Do you not think that I can make it? And I'll be like, Charles, I totally believe that you could make that bookshelf, but Target has it for 40 bucks and you've got a lot of other things that you're doing. 
and I'm okay with you not making that bookshelf just because you can doesn't mean you have to. So we all have this kind of like opportunity cost, right? If that's not your area of expertise, or even if you can do it but you don't want to, it might be time to think about, should I hire someone just to take that stress and that off my plate? I think this is where people start to feel like, yeah, but Rachel, isn't it gonna be really expensive to hire a bookkeeper? And the, the answer is it depends, right? It depends on who you look to to be your bookkeeper. If you automatically go to a tax accountant and say, hey, I know you're a CPA, I want you to do my taxes this year, could you also maybe do my bookkeeping throughout the year? It might be pretty expensive because they are a licensed CPA tax expert. But if you find someone locally to do your bookkeeping or virtually to do your bookkeeping, you have a lot of other options out there for people to make it affordable for you. The other thing that my bookkeeping business allows me to do is to make decisions for myself about my price level. And so my price level might not be the same for every single client that I have. So it's worth it as a business owner, as a small business owner, to reach out to several different bookkeepers and say, hey, this is where I'm at, this is what I need, what kind of price range am I looking at? And you don't have to sign up for someone to be your bookkeeper uh, before you know their price range. So let me tell you a little bit about the way that I look at it. The first thing I do is I give a free consultation to all of my clients. I need 30 minutes to an hour to talk to you about where you're at and what you need before I would ever say, this is what it's gonna cost per month for me to do your books. The other way that you can make it affordable for yourself as a small business owner is you can say, I need a bookkeeper just to get me a system set up. Can you help me look at my records currently? Can you give me some insight on a better way to, to organize these things, a more efficient way, a, a better workflow, and let me do that for the next three to six months and I'll check back in with you. Just get that person maybe for three hours, right? So you'll pay whatever their hourly rate is, maybe for two or three hours to say, this is where I'm at, what can you help me set up as a system? One other um, process that you could do in order to save you money but still be efficient with your bookkeeping and, and to get you into a better place is to just hire that person to do quarterly estimates for you. In that free consultation that a bookkeeper provides, or at least my bookkeeping practice provides, we can pretty easily say whether you're gonna need to do quarterly estimates or not. And so it might be more efficient for you to hire a bookkeeper on a quarterly basis instead of a monthly basis. Now I will put a little disclaimer in here. If you hire a bookkeeper only on a monthly ba uh, on a quarterly basis and not monthly, then and you don't do a good record keeping system in between those times, right? So let's say between January and April, you haven't done a great job. When those quarterly tax estimates are due and you hire that bookkeeper to do some of that record keeping for you and you've made a mess of your books between January and April, it's gonna be more costly because they're gonna to have to clean up stuff before they can help you. If you feel like you do a pretty good job and you're pretty efficient at being organized, but you want some help every quarter, then that would be one way to cut down on your bookkeeping costs for your small business. One other thing that you could do instead of doing a, a bookkeeper um, hired on at quarterly is you could do a tax prep session with a bookkeeper just at the end of, an, of a fiscal year. And that could just prepare you just for tax time. But again, if you've made a mess over the year, that could be more costly as a cleanup than is if you had just hired them on every month to do a routine, um, clean record keeping system for you throughout the year. Listen, I hope that this has been really helpful as a small business owner to decide if you need to hire a bookkeeper. Feel free to reach out to me if you need help in deciding whether this is right for your business um, my email address is down below. I'd love if you hit just subscribe. I also have a video that I'll link here about how to do a simple record keeping system for your small business.